Hey, what's going on YouTube? Chris with a very exciting video. Today, we are introducing the Android P developer preview. Yes, it has finally released, and we're gonna go ahead and go through some of the changes here real quick. Um, so if you first notice, the notification tray quick settings has changed completely. The black bar for the settings as far as time, date, battery is now all black, which you'd pretty much expect, especially now that there are notches coming out um, on Android, this black bar is going to kind of blend in with those notches on those devices. I'm not a fan of this. Um, it looks very uh, TouchWiz Samsung-like with all these circles um, and the, the white and the colors and things like that. Um, next, you notice that the time is over here on the left-hand side, not the right. Probably because since notches are coming out, um, this will split up the amount of um, status bar icons up here. That way the right hand side is not so uh, heavily popularized versus the left hand side, so it kind of splits it up a little bit. Um, the tray down here is a little bit different, so now it's full kind of uh, tinted white, uh, kind of somewhat transparent. Um, so that has been slightly changed there. But everything feels definitely snappy. Um, I installed this via the uh, OTA um, zip, basically booting into recovery, sideloading the update, and it re retains all of your information. Um, so if we go into settings, again, here is a huge throwback to TouchWiz and the colored icons and things like that. So yeah, so not a fan of that. Um, not a fan of these icons, but this is just developer preview one. Um, so if we go over to the about phone, here's the, uh, whoa, -oh, here's the Easter egg. And you can continue zoom as you like. That's trippy. Really cool. Uh, who knows what the name is going to be? Comment down below what you think it is. I personally think kind of seeing this, it could be peppermint because the lines and things like that. Um, that's just a thought. Um, it could be pie. That would be kind of the most, um, guest option um, but everything else um, I did notice in display section here if we go down to there's a pixel theme so basically there's a t narrow tall and wide display cutout so basically for that cutout for the screen depending on maybe aspect ratios and things like that you can change um, so if we go to tall display with a cutout <laughs> there's the cutout there so it basically automatically uh, adjusts and basically but this is still touch and then also changes the color. That's weird. Um, so if we go to narrow display cutout, so you can see that. And then it definitely changes kind of the aspect ratio of some things. Wide display cutout doesn't really change compared to that. So, um, so yeah, so there's the difference um, between those. So, um, this will probably definitely be beneficial for the essential phone. It'll blend in nicer. Um, and then of course, uh, the Asus, every, basically every OEM phone that's coming out now. Um, there's nothing different with the colors, but um, yeah, this is very, uh, quite a big change if I, I must say visually. Um, there's a lot of a dual camera support now um, built in. so speculation that potentially the next pixel will have that support um, a lot of other things um, but just this is just the surface uh, changes here feels good um, it's I'm still going through the setup because I actually tried setting this up via the uh, the fast boot and doing it through there it failed it didn't boot up um, boot animation is the same as you might expect and then also let's see here if it shows So here on the ambient display, um, down here you can see the battery percentage now is showing. So that's kind of a nice little touch. And this, I'm guessing, is going to be maybe uh, for weather. Let's go into home settings. So nothing different there. So yeah, there you go, guys. Um, if we go and rearrange some of these. System tracking. 
Android beta program. And then if we, what if we were to long press on the system icon here? I guess that doesn't do much. Gestures active edge is still there. Um, the There is a flip camera. I didn't remember this being on there before. So kind of like Motorola, you can flip the camera with a twist of your wrist. Yeah, that seems for some reason I'm not able to activate this little long press on the system or the settings icon there to usually bring up the system UI tuner. There isn't really anything else here. But anyways, guys, uh, what do you guys think of the uh, Android P developer? I think it's actually quite snappy, to be honest. But I just don't like it visually. So maybe Substratum, we're going to have to wait for that to catch up and maybe be incorporated. I'm not going to try it, but um, maybe that will help as far as visually. It might be one of the first times I, I use it to get rid of some of these really uh, disgusting icons. Um, oh, this uh, these have rearranged here. Um, now, interaction, there's different support for now uh, messaging um, and the notifications, but since I've reset the phone, I'm still setting everything up. But I will definitely keep everyone posted on what some changes are in the future. If you guys have any questions, comment down below and ask away what do you think the next version of Android is going to be. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one.